Hi, I'm Swizzitz and this is my blog. And this is my bird. Ow. Today we're looking at declarative animation on canvas. We're using React to get declarativeness and Canva to do the canvas. The point of using canvas is so that we can have these marbles using beautiful PNGs and we're using Canva to make them draggable even though they're on canvas, which is usually very difficult to do. And as you can see, it's still not working very well. But I think a big part of the problem is that I'm zoomed in so far. Like when it's not full screen, it actually works a little better. I'm not, a, I'm not sure why, but that's how it is. Another benefit of using canvas is that we have, we can put these shines around the, the marbles themselves. And I don't think you can do that with SVG. And sorry I'm not looking at the camera while talking, but playing with my balls is really distracting. Now let me show you how all of this works. I started the project with Create React App. So we have the standard app.js with some divs and then we have something called collisions. It's called collisions because I wanted to make an animation of inelastic collisions, but it turns out that n-body collision detection is really, really hard. So we have just the bouncing around today. I'm going to do n-body collision detection some other time. Okay, so inside the collisions file, we have a thing called marbles, which specifies each of the marbles where it is on the sprite. And the sprite looks like this. Can I open that in Emacs? Yes. So you see it's a sprite of little marbles that I found somewhere on Dribble, and I don't actually know whose it is. Maybe I shouldn't have taken that. So at the top of the file we have a, right, at the top of the file we have a mapping of marble names to their positions on the actual sprite and the color for each of the shines around, which I'll show you how to do later. Then each marble is done as a compo as a React component where it renders a circle. And this is not just like an SVG circle. You can see it's a, actually a, a React component. And that's because circle comes from some, something called React Canva, which is a really cool library to make React, Canva, and Canvas work together. So for each circle, we do a bunch of things that you can only do with Canvas. For instance, we give it a pattern image, which turns it into, which is what uses the actual sprite. And with offset, we can take the sprite and then move it so that it's only showing the part of the, mar of the marble sprite that we want. Uh, we scale it down so that they're not too big. Let me show you how that works. See, if I change this, uh, these numbers, uh, if I change the marbles, it's no longer scaling correctly and you have a bunch of marbles in one big circle. So let me undo that. And then we have shadow color, which creates the shadow, ar the shiny shadow around each marble. And I was kind of trying to go for a, this is glass, it shines vibe, but I'm not sure it actually works because there's still shadows, but they're colorful shadows. And I'm sure there's something to make them actually shine. But if we change some of these properties, it changes how that looks. And in the end we have draggable and on drag and so that we can move these things around and then the bug with moving them around comes from how i incorrectly integrated react and the conva part the incorrectness comes from all the way down here in collisions where i have something called a game loop that runs on a timer so on each request animation frame it's running the game loop and moving all the marbles around and the problem is that this is changing positions of the marbles and triggering a re-render, but the Canva drag is not correctly telling uh, the Canva drag is not correctly telling React that something is changing and that they're actually that they're actually supposed to be in a different position. So they're kind of fighting each other and creating this weird effect. We could fix that with so with adding on drag move or something like that, where we could update the their positions every time that they're changing on the Canva side. Uh, but I didn't do that. And it looks like the cleaners are here, so I'm going to have to stop recording. Lesson learned, don't record in the mornings. That mornings are for writing. You're going to have to read the article. And yes, the article will explain everything in detail down there.